this is this is stuff that you probably haven't seen before unless you've been at some of my prior camps and maybe stuff you'll never see again. Okay. Um, like I said before, we're going to do a scrambling session. Um, I turn to scrambling personally. I do it more than probably I should, but that's because my a my reaction time is terrible. I'm pretty slow, so by the time I figure out that he's shooting, he's already pretty far into my legs. And uh, B, I'm pretty flexible and pretty uh, funky so to begin with, so this stuff naturally, even if the air are in good position, works pretty well for me. Uh, my brother Johnny, was stance, stance was pretty much like, go ahead and take my leg. And then he was pretty good with it. But then again, I, you can't argue with the results. Johnny was third uh, all time um, for takedowns in Ohio State career history. That might have changed though with uh, some of the new guys. Uh, now I don't think Palmer had more. <laughs> All right, so um, we'll, we'll just start from a position, and this is a series. You know, last last uh, session was a series as well. So the series is going to start with an inside head inside single. Okay, and and, and let me let me repeat something. I don't always want to turn to this. You know, if I can do this, stuff his head and get behind him and score. That's a lot less energy that I have to uh, expend than, than going into scrambling. So I don't want you guys, again, to get into that concept of thinking, let him in on my legs and then we're going to scramble from there. I want to, and also, also, I want to be, you know, I want to have my arms and head, head out to, to be able to stop him. So go ahead. I want to be able to, um, can't even say it, uh, block and, and uh, not allow him to get in my legs. If he gets into my legs, we go to the scrambling, okay? And he's got, my, got his angle. So if I sprawl now, I'm going to do a face plank. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my knee 180 degrees and push his head into the mat. I take his head like this, like your dad when he chokes you out, right? Puts you up against the wall. Same thing. If I go here, turn your head, he gets out. If I go here and push him down, I'm in good position. Now, here's the deal. you got a lot of different options here. I can go this way. I can go this way, or I can go over the top. So we're going to do all three. But as it stands right now, his butt's kind of in the air, so I'm going to go this way, this way. I'm going to walk my knee around. Now you see, I can't go any further with my knee. So I'm going to turn this foot and drive into him, catch his hip so he doesn't keep turning, and then I'm going to whip my body and crush him here. Okay? Let me just review all three positions. I'm going to foreshadow a little here. If his weight's down and he's really clamping up, go ahead. So kind of, yeah, there you go, clamping up. So I can't really move, can't get behind him. I'm going to step over the top and come to here. If he's turning this hip down and walking into me, or walking around, other way, I'm sorry, like this, then I'm going to switch to here and go to this side. And, and, and you know, Johnny, yeah. all right. Johnny's going to pretend not to know the number, but Johnny, how many takedowns do you have in college? I don't remember. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, 498. Why do you ask? No, uh, Come on, how many? How many? Around 500. Around 500. And no exaggeration, probably three, 300 to 350 was this move alone. Is that fair to say? Okay. And this, so this is Johnny's move right here. And we'll go over that. All right. He actually, uh, he actually tied it to me, so... I get here, I turn, push, drive, and I'm going to catch the ankle and push into him. That's the first one, and that's the one, probably the easiest one, right? When he shoots, I take a step back. I lower my level. If I don't take my step back, he, re he uh, reaches across and scores, okay? So i got to drop my level and, and uh, bring my hips down and then turn my knee 180 degrees. Pushing his head down, that's very important. If he comes up, we got a dog fight. All right, now if he gets here, glad you got me here. Use the butt of your hand and hit it down. And then cut the ankle and score. But I always keep pressure on him. If I do this, who's the higher man? Him. Him, he's gonna win. Higher man in a scramble almost always wins. Did everyone hear that? That's the rule of thumb. But I gotta keep pressure on him too. All right, walk, walk. I don't go here without walking. That's when he gets high. Push him down, stay above him, stay above him, grab, push, drive, catch. Now a slow guy like me, 
That looks like an imminent two, but when I go here and he comes up into me, that's a 50-50 scramble again. So what I do from here is I give myself a seatbelt. We'll talk about that later. See that seatbelt? And now, uh, seatbelt. It's a different type of seatbelt than our first one with legs in. Walk around, drive, catch hip, far ankle, push. Okay, so in a match, he's pressuring, lower my level, take my step back, push it down, walk, walk, catch, flip. Crushing him. Here's the wrong way. Getting forward. Okay. It's the wrong way too. Walk, walk, walk. Drive. Got it? Go. 